So for my birthday, I got to go to Santorini. This is one of my favorite places ever. It felt fresh, it felt calming, like you really were on a holiday. Now we're in Brazil and it was just so fun. I'm not being, no, I'm a king. Elvis. Elvis, Estra. Sorry, check yourself. Estra. Check yourself, right? <laughs> you How long have you been on tour? You stood in on my name. I've never been to South America before, so to go to Brazil as part of the trip was phenomenal. Overall, Brazil was also amazing. I feel like everywhere we went was a different vibe, so Brazil was very like. workshops for schedules uh, we just basically put all the dancers on so everyone who goes on tour teaches I love teaching before I teach a workshop my preparation is just making sure that my music's mixed I'm having my music prepared on the laptop okay, hold on. There you go. One for you. One more. One more. I also got to assist Paris so that was amazing again so the crowd absolutely love her The people there are so energetic and just fun in general. They love to dance and they've got their own kind of, not style, but moves that they do. Barry, I love you, Krause. So in Brazil, they're very like family orientated. So it was very cool to go there. And we also got to um, the people that are hosting us. They brought us over to their uh, like a beautiful home. And so we had a pool, we were relaxing. There was like a barbie and everything. The food was amazing. And yeah, it was just nice to meet them and socialize with them and have music pumping and we're all dancing. And they had like the best Brazilian food ever. It was like amazing. Go, Josh. Go, go. Go, Josh. Go, Josh. So this is also prior to the show. So we got to let our hair down during the day and then we had our show at night. Thunderstorming outside. How just cut and there's water dripping from the ceiling. You just never know what to expect. 
And I think that's the main thing. Like there was some times where it was really difficult with say language barriers, getting the lighting, and Maddie was working solidly behind the scenes to make sure that the lighting was correct. So a really cool moment in Brazil was on our day off, we got to go to this art district. We're just in Batman Alley looking at these amazing murals that obviously the locals have painted on the walls. There was this huge alleyway and it's pretty famous in Brazil and it just has the, all this graffiti artwork on the walls and these huge murals. It was cool. I don't even think we have anything like that in New Zealand, so it was definitely cool to walk through this alley with just artwork painted on the wall without seeing any graffiti on it. I've never really seen anything quite like that before, so I was pretty blown away. Sure. Sure. No words. It's just buzzy. Like again, how Paris is just so creatively inclined. She just wanted to do a freestyle in the, sh in the Batman alley. It's filled with graffiti. And she asked me to hold the phone for her. And to see someone in their element and just wanting to express herself creatively. Um, so that was a cool experience seeing her just freestyle out of nowhere. I just, I love art and I love seeing art all over the world. So that was really um, a really cool moment for us. I've never been to Mexico and I mean it was really exciting to finally go. By this point we have done the show lots of times. So we went to this one restaurant and I've always wanted to try on like a big 
Yeah, the sombreros. But it wasn't just a normal size, it was huge. Like me and Martina took photos and it was like literally this big.